Don't have sex. We're putting this one right at the top because you'll be very glad to know this is totally untrue. Basically, the only restrictions when it comes to pregnant sex are A, make sure the pregnant woman is comfortable, which should really always be a concern, and B, don't have unprotected sex if your partner has or may have an STI, as that can cause serious health risks for the baby. Those two bits of guidance are pretty solid all-around sexual health advice, so feel free to just do those things, regardless of whether or not you're pregnant. Don't get vaccinations. This one is really important. While there are some vaccinations that are not recommended for pregnant women, others are definitely recommended for pregnant women. This handy chart will tell you which is which. But the idea is that vaccines that work via inactivated virus or bacterial exposure are okay, while vaccines that work through live virus exposure might potentially cause harm to the fetus. It is particularly recommended that pregnant women get a flu vaccine, though not the nasal spray version, because pregnant women are more at risk for serious complications if they do get the flu. Don't have any caffeine. This is only mostly correct. Many studies have been done to try and see whether caffeine is actually harmful during pregnancy, but most of them contradict each other. The problem is that the gold standard of medicine, a randomized controlled trial, is not ethically feasible to do because maybe caffeine does harm fetuses. At this point, the prevailing advice is for pregnant women to limit their intake to under 200 milligrams a day, or about one 12 ounce cup of coffee. But thank God for that one cup, am I right? Don't eat cheese. Again, this is a myth that only rings partially true. The rationale here is that some cheeses, particularly soft cheeses, which have high moisture content, may be contaminated with listeria, which is known to cause miscarriages. But hard cheeses and soft cheeses that are both non-imported and clearly marked as having been made from pasteurized milk are safe to eat. You should also avoid all mold-ripened cheeses and blue cheeses, unless they've been cooked all the way through. By the way, listeria is very uncommon, but it's still recommended that you follow these guidelines, because even mild forms of the illness, which are usually not at all a problem for an adult, can be extremely problematic to a pregnancy. Don't fly. Many pregnant women stay out of the sky, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, because if there is any sort of complication in the air, it can be difficult to get help. However, medical advice generally states that it is safe for a woman with a healthy pregnancy to fly up until around her 36th week. After that, it's best to stay on the ground, just in case. Don't eat nuts. Nuts are great snacking foods. High in healthy fats and protein, they can kill your hunger pangs even if you don't gorge on them. But pregnant women have to skip all those benefits because they might cause their babies to develop allergies. Right? Nah. In 2000, it was publicly advised that women should not eat nuts, particularly peanuts, during pregnancy, because it was thought it might influence the development of allergies in the child. But that thinking wasn't actually based on any published research, just deduction. And now, there is research that actually indicates the opposite. So, unless you have an allergy to peanuts, or if there's some other pressing reason why you should be avoiding nuts, feel free to eat them while you're pregnant.